right, yesterday I showed how to use a lookup to find hosts in a source type that did, were not in my, uh, my were not the, the lookup didn't have. So I have a list of lookups, and I'm going to have a bunch of hosts in there. And I wanted to know which which hosts in that lookup file were not in this host. And so that's a good way of saying, hey, uh, I don't have these machines you're porting in. And so if you don't remember that, or go look in the vi go go join the go grab the videos, the list of uh, this ch um, a playlist, and go grab the video before this. That'll show you how to find sort uh, hosts that are not sending logs to your system. But what if you have a new machine sending logs in and thereby it's not in your lookup file, but it does exist in the source type. So we're gonna take a we're gonna take it slightly different. This query is actually a little bit easier to read, um, but we're gonna show how to do that one as well. So this basic principle, if we jump back, I've got my little lookup here, get your lookup however you want. And in my case, I told I I mentioned yesterday there's three machines. This ghost machine is the machine that I was using that it never sends any logs in. I don't have any logs there, so this will work for finding uh, machines that haven't sent their logs in. They would I would use this, but I have a third machine. It's called Troy Recording, and that's actually this laptop I'm on right now, and it's not in my lookup. So it would symbolize let uh, maybe a new system popping up on my network that I wasn't aware of. And so how do I do that? Basically, I'm going to go to index equals underscore internal, source type equals Splunk D, just like, so I'm going to grab my internal logs. I'm going to count them by host. And if I do that, we should have three machines come back. Desktop, Big Splunk, Troy Recording. There's that machine I talked about. These two are in this lookup, but the Troy Recording is not. So that would symbolize that, hey, I've got a new machine reporting into my system, but I don't have it in the lookup. And then all I'm going to do is just use a lookup here. And my other, um, and I'm just basically going to go lookup, match host on host. So if you've done lookups, if you haven't, I recommend you uh, look at my channel. I show how to do lookups. Um, anyway, but here's the basic principle. You call it your CSV. You say what you're matching on. They both happen to have host fields, so that makes that really easy. My output count as foo. This is me just getting lazy. I have an output. I don't know why you'd have a count in your lookup. You should have something of value, maybe a description of what this field is, what this machine is, whatever. I was lazy. I just used a stats count to fill these things out. So that's what I'm using here. Um, and I'm just doing a count. The problem is, let's not call it count. That gets confusing. So I named it foo. What a wonderful programming term. Let's just call it foo. It doesn't really matter. And then I use the, so if I do this, like show the log. We're going to get back desktop, big Splunk Troy recording. And here's the count from this log. And here's it's matching. It grabbed the lookup and it output the count field and called it foo. I wanted to rename it foo because otherwise it would overwrite this count. You don't want to have two fields with the exact same name. Splunk will do merging on those. Anyway, and then I'm just going to use this where is null command. Look in foo where there's a null value. And that's the only thing I want back. If I do that, the result will be Troy recording. I now know that Troy recording has popped up in this source type, and I don't have it accounted for in my, in my lookup. I hope this is helpful. I hope this helps you move from being a lame analyst to a Splunk ninja. And always, as always, please like and subscribe if you find this uh, stuff useful. Pass it on to your friend, neighbors, uh, coworkers, etc. Um, hope to see you guys around. Take care.